This is another React Native tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be doing with interpolation. Let's see the end result. So we'll would be interpolating the width of this object. And uh, at the end, when the animation is done, we'll see this done animation. When the width interpolation is done, we'll see this one. So let's get started. So right now I have here the default code. So let's save it and see the result. Okay, so right now I have this one and uh, definitely we can click on them. It works, okay. Uh, the only thing you need to know that here after each time the animation is done, uh, I, I'd be using parallel. Uh, and each time the animation is done, we use the state variable here index and set index function to increase the index so that we can see the next question or next statement from our array and once uh, we change the value over here because index is a state variable uh, we are we initialized it using a state so every time a state variable changed the re-render happens which means we are over here and we get the new index because we increase the index here so we get the question over here next question we check whether it's uh, the length of this certain index or index number is bigger than the question length we have or larger than the question length if not we get the index make it increase it one and then give it to the next question this variable and they're rendered over here this is the this is for next question and this is for the current question Okay, so that's what's happening here. And we also have this uh, uh, handle press button so that we can interact with these two buttons. Okay, let's go ahead and reload it. And, uh, okay, reload button is not working. Uh, now it should work, okay. Let's see, yes, okay. All right, so as I click on this over here, so it triggers from here. Uh, handle press get called from over here and uh, we increase the index so that we get the next question and at the same time the current question we set the current set value to zero so that it uh, you can think like that it disappears and we'd we'll be able to see the next one that's why we use uh, a current set value equals zero all right okay so now what do we want to do we want to actually here animate this bar or progress bar so let's go ahead and do it and uh, to do that actually first we'd be doing here um, declaring another state variable animated a state variable let's go ahead and declare it we'll call it progress and uh, the function should be set progress okay yeah, sorry all right and uh, use state new animated dot value all right okay cool so now this is uh this state variable would be using to animate our width over here so let's go ahead and do it first so let's animate it first so animated the timing um, and we'll pass the value that we want to animate that's the progress and uh, it takes two parameters the first one will animate to a certain index uh, here it's it, it should go like this let me explain to you and duration 4000 milliseconds and it, we can use native driver true for now all right uh, say for now we use it true over here as well okay so what's happening so each time i we uh animate this value over here we want to add one because as you see index is being changed each time over here okay uh, i'm sorry it's being changed over here because we are changing the index value and in the next animation in parallel next animation loop we will maybe the first will start with zero because index is zero over here as you can see all right 
and first time the animation is done the index would get increased one through this set indexed function so the next time over here it would be one plus one two like that or two plus one three three plus one four like this okay we are doing this because we want to animate this progress bar based on the index number because with the index number we can keep track of the questions or the statement over here we are going through lo looping through so that's why we are using this one and definitely now we need to interpolate this okay so we'll call it uh, say progress uh, anim and progress dot interpolate uh, first value input range uh, zero to questions dot length and output range sorry output range from zero percent to one hundred percent okay now let me explain to you why we are using questions dot length so this is the ultimate final upper value of our in input range um, as, as you see uh, this uh, animation over here progress bar has to do with the index and the highest value for this progress would reach to the length of this uh, array which is actually five so each time we click over here one so we'll do one fifth of the progress bar we'll show here and when the index plus one reaches to five then it will reach to hundred percent the width another thing is that because while we are using uh, double quotation because with uh, in terms of percentage it is a string so that's why because we are here using percentage so it has to be within double quotation so this length over here is the highest value and we'll start from but definitely first we'll start we'll reach to the value one and in the next loop we'll reach to value two because in the last first time animation is done index will get increased right because we did plus one over here okay so now well so this is the interpolation now we have to pass this to our style object so let's create a style object we'll call it uh, mm, bar width yeah whatever we can call it and uh, because we want to deal with the width over here so assign it to width style property and we'd be assigning the progress on him okay cool okay uh, and now we need to bind this one bind with our animated view because this is width width is part of the view so we'll call from animated dot view okay and uh, we'll pass style objects over here and the styles dot bar actually which I already created over here uh, earlier before this tutorial so all the style objects are here so that we can get a head start so but of course uh, we need to pass array of objects so uh, with this third braces and then we should pass bar width to bind with this view so that it could be animated bar width all right okay so now let's save it and see the result uh, well now I could tell you that once we save it it would get crushed because this is native driver true actually native drivers they don't support with interpolation so if you go with the true it'll crash application but i don't want to crash so that's why i'll set it to false okay because native driver they don't support uh with our height interpolation my understanding so that's why you should uh set it to false okay now let's go ahead yeah so now we see the progress bar yeah okay well now uh, let's load it one more time 
Actually, we already have the first question, so I want to see the progress bar at the beginning. And we have five questions over here, so each time it takes 20% of the width, right? So we'll start with 20. Okay, now it's better. Okay, cool. But now, well, you see it's still there, but even though our questions are gone, so we need to hide it and show the users that we are done. So we need to use a new variable to keep the track of our state or like we need to use in a conditional statement a new variable. So let's go ahead and declare it. So I'll call it running and uh, set running and uh, it, it won't be animated. It's simply uh, just uh, integers. So we'll use it because the animation is running at the beginning. So we initialize it to one. Actually, you can initialize it to anything if you want. It doesn't matter. So now we need to keep the track of our index over here because when we see the index uh, has reached four, zero to four, that means the fifth one has been done, then we don't want to do this animation anymore. So let's go ahead and keep the track of this index plus one equal or greater than five, then we do something. Because when, let's go ahead and save it. Let me explain to you. So first, second, third, fourth. Okay, right now the index value is a four. But after that, if I click, it should happen, the animation should happen for a few milliseconds and we should see something different. Right now the index value is a four. So four plus one, five, so equal five. So it means after this, once this animation is done, index plus one would be equal to five. So we can do something different. So uh, let's write our condition over here. So we can do it within set timeout function. Uh, otherwise, uh, it would uh, be gone very soon. So we can wait a few moments or a few milliseconds, 500 milliseconds. And after that, we'll hide it. So how do we hide? Using our running state over here, the state variable. So let's uh, set running to zero. Now it's zero, so we can hide it. Okay, but now we need to use this uh, condition to hide this latest view or render. Uh, to do that, we can create a condition over here within a render element. Render element is being called from here. So this is what is actually responsible for the showing the whole view. So we want to hide it. Uh, once uh, the animation reach at this condition, the last index plus one is equal to five or more than five, then we would hide it. So let's go ahead and check it the condition if it's met or not if running equal one we'll do something okay so if running equal one we want to return the whole J jsx okay so right now go ahead and save it okay let's reload it okay so uh, is we initialized it to one so this condition is uh, true over here over here the condition is true so that's why it's running, all right? Okay, now let's uh, see, now it's gone. Of course, it uh, 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 gives us an error, the error because it's not falling to anything. So we need to return something different, all right? So let me hide this uh, thing over here because we must return something, something like view okay any kind of view but right now because the condition is one it doesn't fall into this condition so over here nothing to return no view to return so there must be a default view at least anything any simple view you should return so now we'll return a view over here so return something okay all right so well return a view actually inside this view well let me style it over here so styles dot main view main view has been defined over here so it puts everything in the center so now i can call activity activity indicator 
which is default in react native let's make sure it's been imported over here yeah okay so while this condition is not true anymore i mean after this call so we will show something different okay let's go ahead and save it okay yeah gone so now it's loading but of course this is not what we want to do in this tutorial i have used uh, a special activity or view is called lottie view so I'll, you can go ahead and install it um i'll keep the link and uh, uh, in my tutorial in my website i'll tell you so how to install it so it's pretty easy so after installing you just uh, import it like this so i'll keep the link below so that you can find it and i'll also write the instructions how to install it and then import it okay and uh, this is the default one that's not what we want to show we want to show lottie view okay so lottie view takes a uh, few parameters the first one uh, source uh, source equal require and uh, I have a JSON file which I have saved in my asset over here I'll also keep the link for this asset file so that you can download it and use it in your project and uh, we can also set autoplay true true and a loop I don't want to play it in the loop forever so loop false and uh, we can also create styles for it so with 100 height 100 okay so now let's go ahead and save it that's what we see so now let's run the animation okay so we started we're going ahead so now this is the the index number is four we are plus adding plus one over here and the condition becomes true then we would fall back to this one okay yes uh, the progress has been done okay so well the few important things that I have used in this tutorial first one uh, keeping the track of the index of this array and using this index to do different type of animation like over here with progress animation and use I use this same index to change a view totally load a different view like this view lot of view we have uh, uh, rendered over here and uh, using running state variable I'm keeping the track of my views because I have two different kind of views the first one is the questionnaire view and with the progress bar and this is the last view all right so I'll keep the link of this code as well in my video and if you like the video so give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share it and subscribe thank you so much